Okay, as many of you know, there is a stimulus check coming either by direct deposit or in the mail, and we're going to talk about the details of that check with you right now. Okay, so first up, who gets it? If you have a valid social security number, if you have income within the guidelines, which we're gonna go through in a sec, if you're on a social security program or a disability or any other federal assistance program, that could be WIC, SNAP, other food programs, you are still qualified to get the payment. Okay, now on to who is excluded. Dependents over the age of 17 years old, this includes elderly, disabled, acclaimed young adults who are in college, high school students who are 17 years old, all those folks are going to be excluded from the payment along with undocumented Americans, which equals about 32 million people who are not going to be able to get this essential stimulus. And if I were in Congress, we certainly wouldn't allow that to happen or we'd be speaking truth to power no matter what. Okay, on to the brackets. How much will I get? If you are single and you make between zero and 75K, you are gonna get the full $1,200 payment. And if you make between 75,000 and $99,000 annually, or that's recorded on your 2018, 2019 tax returns, um, you're gonna lose $50 for every $1,000 over 75K. And there's a lot of handy calculators. Just look up stimulus check calculators. You'll be able to get that figured out. Okay, now on the joint filing. These are people who are married, who are in a uh, official domestic partnership, people who live together and file together. If between zero and 150K jointly, you'll get $2,400 for your household. And after 150, between 150 and 198K, it's gonna reduce by the same amount. That's $1,000. Uh, every, for every $1,000 over 150, you're gonna get $50 less. If you are a head of household, this is usually for single parents. I've made between nothing and 112.5K, you'll get the full 1,200 bucks. And between 112.5 and 136.5, you'll get that reduced amount that we already talked about. And now for both of these filings, if you have dependents that you file on your tax returns, you're gonna get an additional $500 per dependent. And of course, we know this is kind of awkward because you're only gonna get $500 for those dependents that are 16 years of age or younger. So if you take care of someone who is disabled or if you take care of your grandmother, grandfather, elderly uh, person, you're unfortunately not gonna get any additional stimulus and we think that's a problem, but that's the world that we're working in right now. Okay, what you should know, these are additional things. Look out for scammers. So there's people who are going to be calling you on the phone saying, hi, if you're gonna qualify for the stimulus check, you have to give me your social security details and your bank account details. These are scammers. The IRS uh, and the agencies are not going to call you about these things, so do not play along with those scams. Look out for scammers. Tell your grandparents, look out for the scammers as well. Uh, prisoners, we called the ACLU. We called Project Return. They're currently looking into this. We don't know if prisoners are gonna get stimulus checks or not. The, this is a one-time payment, although Congress is probably going to have to have a follow-up bill. So uh, we're going to see where that goes. And also this one-time payment is not taxable. Do not report this payment on your tax returns. Okay. So you didn't file taxes. It's okay. The federal government is coming up with a form where you're going to claim up to just making a dollar so that you'll be able to be in the system and get paid where you will keep you posted as those details come down the line. These are the things we're also trying to figure out right now. And as far as when you're going to get paid, if you are on direct deposit for your 2018 or 2019 uh, tax refund, uh, you'll get that direct deposit sometime after April 4th, um, although the federal government, it could be delayed. And if you normally get a check or if you're just on Social Security benefits and you're not in that direct deposit network, uh, sometime in May or early June, you should expect to get your check. We're gonna keep you posted on all of the uh, details that come down the line as it relates to these stimulus checks. We appreciate you. Feel free to comment or call in with any questions. Thank you.